In our Two America series, we're taking a look at communities and topics we may not be familiar with and how we can come together. The military makes up a big part of Southern Colorado, from the Air Force Academy to Fort Carson. But as many people have served or are serving, there are also people who don't have a connection to the military. We're taking a look at some of the ways people are looking to change that in this Bridging the Divide. It's not, it's not as simple as someone just saying, I want to reach out to the military, so I'm going to reach out to a unit. So I just avoided that interaction, you know, so if I want to hang out, it would be with my buddies in the Army. Military installations surround parts of El Paso County. Grew up in Colorado Springs, I've been here my entire life, and the military bases have always had like a very large presence, and there's Air Force games, and there's like rack runs and all this stuff going on, um, but they always felt like not something for, for me or my community. But with thousands of active duty and veterans, there's not always a direct relationship with the general population. People want to be involved in the military. They want to be involved with the military. Uh, they want to give back to their service members. Linda Mays is the executive director of USO Colorado. But they don't necessarily know how. Um, and so I think that kind of it creates this little divide that we have. The USO, a national organization that works to bring community members and military together. As an Army veteran herself, she's experienced the sense of community that comes with the military and the challenges it can be to interact with the general population. While she was serving, she was also a military spouse figured I had nothing in common with any of the other spouses because I was a soldier. After serving for a dozen years, she gained a new perspective as a veteran. And now with a son in the military, she has more insight. It changes quite a bit of my thought process that I might have had, you know, 15 years ago. Organizations like the USO are working to bridge the civilian military divide. With opinions of the military changing over time, it's something leaders have been working to address. A study in 2019 showed 87% of Americans aged 16 to 24 would definitely or probably not join the military in the next few years. But groups like what? Team Red, White and Blue or RWB are trying to give more insight between the general population and those who've served or are serving in the military. Once you get that brotherhood camaraderie in RWB, now you have that sense of purpose again, that feeling that you had when you were serving in the military. John Reyes leads the RWB team in Colorado Springs. Uh, that they will never understand, you know, and that's something my counselor told me. He's like, hey, you need to get that out of your head. Like, they will never ever understand what you saw, went through, or seen during combat or anything. So get away from that mindset and start getting to know the people. And now he works with volunteers like Raquel Ramos to bring civilians and military members together through physical activities and community service, making sure everyone feels included in the community. They may not understand where we're coming from or what we've gone through, but it helps them, it helps bridge, bridge the gaps between the civilian community and the military community. I think. Just put your, your beliefs and personal beliefs aside and just talk to a person. You know, like, hey, what do you love doing? We all love music, we all love concerts. We all love food. Very similar hobbies. We have very similar values. We have very similar life experiences. And although I don't identify with the traumas of combat, I identify with the traumas of substance use disorder. And the healing process at its root is community. Kaylee Jones runs a local gym with a focus of helping people recovering from addiction. She's worked alongside Team RWB for its events. And while she hasn't served in the military, Growing up in Colorado Springs, she says she recognized some of the challenges for families. I said them all to experience a lot of loss. Um, they'd build friendships and then move, and then they'd build new friendships and then they'd move, or they'd start a sports team and then move. So I think that there's something um, that I have to learn from that and the ability to be adaptable and you know dig in and find new friends as quickly as possible. As Jones works with veterans, she says seeing the struggles we all face is something that can help us come together. And for organizations like USO Colorado, they also work to find those commonalities between communities. A lot of civilians that are willing to understand what, what those soldiers have gone through. Um, and there's a lot of civilians that have been there and been there themselves. The key is looking at how we can all seek to understand. The military is not going anywhere and neither are civilians. Um, you know, and I think that with the direction that the world is going and, and the way that we've been, um, service members need the community now more than ever. And, and the community needs to understand the service members now more than ever, just because of, of the world that we live in today. 
And there are several organizations working to bring veterans and the community together. If you're looking for ways to get involved, we have the information on our website, koaa.com.